Green light, SpaceX wars between the lines. Three, two, one, go. Sandstorm. Okay, here we go. Visibility is now very, very clear. And it's also very, very clear that the Blue Alliance needs this to stay in. Red Alliance is going to do everything they can to slow them down and take it. But the Blue Alliance is not going to take that sitting down. As you can see, Al Spark 9 is playing some really tough defense over here, keeping 1325 from scoring. 188 over at the end of their cargo ship, unhindered. Strutzy scores. Ice cubed. Trying to work their way around the Aztecs. Aztecs is doing a little dance in the Blue Alliance zone and pushing their robots back towards their loading zone. Still, 1325 having difficulty. They can't get a hatch panel in play because the Blue Alliance is very strong. Oh, there we go. Slap it on. Bang! Well, we had a little bit of a head-on collision. Neither of the robots are worse for wear. And here we go. 188 comes to finish off the first level of the Red Alliance rockets. 13.25, grab some cargo. Meanwhile, Aztecs of the Red Alliance is doing an early climb onto level three to secure those 15 points. Still lots of time left. Now we have just two Red Alliance robots working hard out there. While one is giving instructions from the habitat zone, 49-39 still playing a tough defensive role and really, really hindering 13-25. And right now, Blue Alliance has got a lead, but it's going to be down to the last second. 13-10 is up, and you heard those 20 seconds. What's going to happen with that Blue Alliance right now? They're ahead. Will there be a double climb for the third level? Up they go. Folks, this is going to be close. Not quite. Oh, no. Oh, no. And down they go. But the Blue Alliance has still got a lead. It's pretty tight screen. Oh, the Red Alliance. 103 to 90. Wow, if that last robot had stayed up, but that's 